ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯಂಕರಾಚಾರ
and source a source or that mula is the source for the tree to grow tasyeva anugrochitaha and uchitaha means grown grown by the grace tasya his grace who is that avyakta so by the avyaktasya tasya avyaktasya anugrahena uchitaha esah samsarah this samsara vriksha has grown with the anugraha of ishara avyakta ishara buddhi skanda mayas chaiva maya mayat pratyay is used here skanda mayah vriksha is skanda mayah skanda is a trunk so endowed with the trunk but what kind of trunk buddhi so skanda iva buddhi is that which is skanda iva samsara vriksha is endowed with buddhi it is not a jada shrishti jada jagat has the jnana chid backing it therefore it is buddhi skanda mayah buddhi here is of course jada buddhi only but then buddhi nobody will say jada buddhi jada buddhi is like manda buddhi buddhi is that which is the first which comes to life so to say and brings about brings about consciousness being felt manifestation avyakta becomes vyakta in the buddhi therefore buddhi although jada appears to be sentient that is the trunk then everything grows first vidyanamaya kosha ishara takes the vidyanamaya kosha in the form of jiva once vidyanamaya kosha is taken then you know we are in the business of samsara so to say buddhi skanda mayah cha eva indriyantara kotarah antara kotarah the trees have these hollows huge trees like ashwatha you know you see the intertwined uh, trunks in those intertwined trunks in between there are gaps there are hollows those are like sockets golakas golakas for indriyas therefore antara kotra indriyas are the in the sitting in the golakas it's comparable to the hollows of the tree so vriksha is indriyantara kotara all these are bahuris because vriksha is the anya pada anya pada pradana is the bahuri mahabhuta vishakascha mahabhutas are the shakhas vishakhas vishakha is a strilinga it has become vishakha because anya pada is vriksha pullinga वृक्ष संसार वृक्ष ब्रांचेस वडादि ब्रांचेस महाभूतानि महाभूतानि विशाखाः यस्य वृक्षस्य स वृक्ष महाभूत विशाखाः विशाकश्च विषयैः पत्रवांस तथा विषयैः इज अ लिटिल डिफिकल्ट काइंड ऑफ तृतीया कैन बी कॉल्ड अ इत्थंभूते तृतीया पत्रवान पत्रवान पत्रास आर लीव्स and matu patravan is matupanta patrani asya santi asya vrikshasya santi iti vrikshah patravan tatha patravan also this vriksha is endowed with leaves what kind of leaves samsara vriksha does not have leaves patrani yo patrani what are those vishaya vishayas are like patras objects so vishaye hi patravan tatha further dharma dharma supushpascha pushpa pushpa is napunsaka dharma and adharma dharma and adharma are pushpani yasya vrikshasya pushpani in the sense pushpani eva pushpani yasya vrikshasya sa vriksha dharma dharma supushpascha so flowers of the samsara vriksha are dharma and adharma punya papa and punya papa which are resultant of 
Our karma is also, you can call dharma is karma. Padharma is also karma. Therefore, punya and papa both are karmas. As a result, and also they are called as punya papa. So punya papa can stand for, or dharma dharma can stand for karma as well as the subtle result which will hold hold a guarantee hold a guarantee for the result to be given when it is due so that is the that is in the form of flowers for this ruksha samsara ruksha and then the real result will there will be sukha dukha in some janma that janma or other janmas therefore ruksha samsara ruksha has results phala which is also karma phala therefore sukha dukha phalodaya the tree is that in which there is udaya of phala so sukhant sukhancha dukhancha or sukhani cha dukhani phalani eva phalani yasya or phalani uh, udaya phalani udaya would be masculine so you can say yasya udaya, udaya ha, phalodaya ha. you can say phalana udaya so sukham cha dukhan uh, sukhani cha dukhani phalani eva phalani and then that is sukha dukha phalani then sukha dukha phalan phalana udaya ha, yasya or yasmin vrikshe sa vriksha ha sukha dukha phalodaya ha. So that is the result for this samsara vruksha. What is ajivya? Ajivya is, we need, this is there in uh, some languages, regional languages also. Ajivya is habitable. It is that which is habitable for whom sarva bhutanam, this samsara vruksha is where everyone resides. So sarva bhutanam ajivya, sa, ajivya samsara vruksha. And what is the samsara vruksha called as brahma vruksha? This Brahma Vruksha is Madhyapada Lopa. You should not make a Karmadharai out of this because we are talking about a Vruksha. This is in is Vruksha. Brahma is not Vruksha. Brahma is, we have seen in the Shloka also, Urdha Moolam Adashaka. And Urdhva has been explained as Kalatha Sukshmatvat Karnatvat Nityatvat Mahatvatya Urdhva. What is that? Brahma. Avyaktam Maya Shaktimat Brahma Urdhva Moolam Uchyate. So that is the Moola for this Samsara Vruksha. Therefore, Brahma, we have to say this Brahma Vruksha. This Brahma Vruksha is not Karmadharaya. Vruksha is that which has Brahma as Karana. Brahma Moola Vruksha. Or we have to say Brahma Adishtita Vruksha Madhyamapada Lopi Samasa. Vruksha is Adishtita by Brahma, supported by Brahma. So that's a Madhyamapada Lopi Samasa. Sanatana, Sanatana is timeless. Samsara Vruksha is Anadi. Samsara has been there forever. It will continue. It is Anadi, it will continue till Jnanutpatti does not take place. So it is anadi, but anant, not ananta. It is anta, antamat. So anta is possible, but it is anadi. Etat Brahma Bhavanam. Brahma bhav, sorry, Brahma, not Bhavanam, Brahma Vanam. I think I misread it. Etat Brahma Vanam Chaiva, Brahma Acharati Nityashaha. Brahma Vanam. Vana is Pujya. Uh, in the so I, I'll make a I made a correction I read it again because I I think while chanting I said Brahma Bhavanam somewhere uh, recently that word came in Bhavanam so any Brahma Vanam Brahma Vanam Vana is generally you think as forest it is not forest Vana is worship worthy it's a uh, it's in that sense it has been used worship worthy is this Brahma Etad Brahma Vanan Chaiva Brahma Charati Nityashaha Nityashaha. Nityashaha Acharati. Nityashaha is adverbial to Acharati. Continues. Brahma Acharati. 
here brahma is in the sense of the individual this that brahma or etad etad has been said so this brahma which is really tatpada continues as jiva aaj sarva bhutana ma jiva who are these all bhut bhutas they are brahma manifest in the form of jiva ahantaya therefore brahma varam this worship worthy brahma somehow continues in samsara nitya shah continues nitya shah till there is actually there is jnanodaya continues or we can say continues nonetheless whether there is samsara real or unreal the brahma is always associated other associated otherwise there is no possibility of samsara being there it will continue because brahma is adishthana etat chitta but then here jiva jiva if you take then jiva will continue as long as there is no jnana etat chitva cha bhitva cha therefore brahma vruksha cannot be brahma brahma eva vruksha we should not say brahma adishtita vruksha why because chitva has been said you have to look ahead chitva that's why anyway bhagwan bhashakara before he mentioned this he has already said that urdhva mula is brahma avyakta therefore mula is brahma that mula should be known samsara vruksha should be known along with its root then you know the tree complete etat chitva cha bhitva cha having uprooted that etat chitva cha bhitva cha jnanena paramasina how do you uproot it but then etat has been used so samsara vruksha here somehow etat has been used here we can take it as chandasa uh, not chandasa but uh, arsha prayoga if it is in purana neuter has been used etat chitva cha bhitva cha jnanena paramasina what is the axe for it the sword or axe you know asihi can be can mean this a sword or axe also in this case particularly we can take it as axe through which you fell a tree so how do you fell this tree you use an axe which is parama axe it is a it's a great axe it is not something samsara vruksha is huge you cannot cut it with a simple axe that axe has to be really huge and what is that mahatta of the or uh, paratta param what is param param parama asi there parama is jnana so jnani na parama asi na no simple solutions will work no karma or upasana will not work by themselves you will need jnana so therefore jnana is a parama asi using which jnani na parama asi na etat etat but it is samsara vruksham samsara vruksham bhitva chitva cha bhitva cha having felled and destroyed chit cut and then completely destroyed that tree tataha thereafter what or tasmat karanat what happened atmaratim prapya having at a atmaratihi atmani ratim prapya this atmarati we have seen this word earlier also there it was a bahuri because it was in samana dikarana with a jnani atmani ratihi ramanam yasya jnaninaha sajnani atmaratihi iti uchyate here atmartim prapya has been said so jnani does not attain jnani what he attains he attains rati therefore atma atmani ratim it is saptami tatpurusha atmani ratim prapya atmani ratihi is atmarati and tam prapya having attained that ratihi is ramana having attained joy anand roopa in atma itself 
tasmat na avartate punaha na avartate again one does not take birth so the entire thing even in purana you have the same jnana there is nothing different in purana purana people who focus on purana katha you know how this samsara came about how uh, you know some rakshasas came and someone else did something or someone prayed to some other deity this deity is greater than that deity this avatar is better than that avatar all those are stories maybe historical not an issue there but still they are not the moral of the story moral of the story is this if we take this literally oh samsara ruksha is that you know, some people would explain this you know very flowery language there is a samsara ruksha in in the other loka this will be like ruksha and then these are real fruits and these are real all these explanations are bogus they are all superficial interpretations if you go to the core if we have done our you know study we have, we have gone through our study life well in schooling also what is the moral of the story unfortunately our education system the moral of the story is also taught therefore you hold on to it it, it is not bad per se but one loses the capacity to think think and analyze what is the what should be taught is how to analyze the moral of the story you should understand shadlinga how what indicates the importance in any story story jumps here and there it keeps on you know it's all complicated nothing is simpler in life things turn uh, completely they reverse completely in the moment but then the underlying current has to be known so everything uh, that happens in puranas also or in itihas also there is an underlying current in the teaching that has to be known through shadlinga analysis what is the commitment why is this story bring, being brought out you know why is ramayana taught rama's life yes but then rama he has he is a is a purushottama he followed dharma so that should be seen there dharma should be known whether rama was ajanu bahu or is all good for upasana but then it does not give the listener a benefit it grows shraddha it you know it brings about respect all that is good but then beyond that holding that as the real tattva is is something that will not benefit the listener much you have to see how how he lived his life in dharma that is a lesson there so here also if you look at it in purana also you see tasma uh, tatah atmaratim prapya tasma navartate na avartate puna tasma navartate puna is na avartate does not take birth again is not born how jnanena parmasina samsara ruksham chitva cha bhitva cha so that is important here jnanena moksha tam urdham mulam samsaram maya mayam ruksham adashakam mahadam ahankara tanmatra daya matra daya shakha yo asya adah bhavanti iti soyam adashakah what is the explanation of adashakah first urdha moolam tam urdha moolam samsaram that samsara for which the moola is upwards meaning subtle brahma tattva ishvara tattva is upwards not visible easily and just like the root is not visible visible the subtle root is not visible sat karana is not visible we only see the karya samsara that samsara is maya maya it is a product of maya because maya is vikari upadana karan that kind of vriksha is adashaka its branches are downward meaning they are seen but the root is upwards meaning it is subtle unseen that adashaka vriksha is what mahad ahankara tanmatra daya matra daya ha shaka iva shaka ha yasya mahad ahankara tanmatra all these tanmatras are these subtle mahabhutas all those are first mahat hiranyagarbha or mahat 
then ahankara at the individual level tanmatras all these are shakhas like shakhas they are like branches for this samsara ruksha and they are downwards adaha bhavanti iti soyam adashakaha that is the explanation adashakha tam adashakam na shwaha api sthatha iti ashwatha what is ashwatha it won't be there tomorrow we don't know whether it will be there tomorrow or not that kind of a tree because every minute it is kind of dying then another branch comes up another so called trunk comes up it intertwines with the other and then appears to be the same for us we don't know that they are undergoing change tam kshana pradhamsinam sho api na sthata iti ashwatha that is the explanation given for ashwatha meaning what kshana pradhamsinam it is क्षणेन प्रध्वंस क्षणेन प्रध्वंस अस्त अस्ति क्षण प्रध्वंसी तम क्षण प्रध्वंसिन अश्वत्थम प्राहु मीनि कथयन्ती दैट इज दी संसार वृक्ष अश्वत्थ अव्यय संसार मायाह अनादि काल प्रवृत्तत्वा स्वयं संसार वृक्ष अव्यय Why is it called as Avya Samsara Vruksha? Samsara Maya Yaha Anadi Kala Pravruttatva Since the Samsara Maya Samsara Karana Maya is Anadi Kala Pravrutta Maya is said to be a Karana with the Satchidananda Brahma backing. So Maya cannot be talked about independently and Ishwara cannot be talked about independently because both have both have association only with association there will be any pravrutti and anadi kala pravruttatva maya is continuous continuously there and engaged in vikaras the gunas undergo vikaras and based on the content of the guna the balance of the gunas that is a kind of samsara we have every moment so i am samsara ruksha avyaya since it is anadi kala pravrutta therefore avyaya anadyanant anadyanta dehadi sanatana ashraya hi suprasiddha it is very well known that anadyanta dehadi sanatana ashraya <coughs> sorry Anadhyanta means anadhi, but anta. Here, uh, anadhyananta is also possible. I don't know what reading you have. Anadhyananta or anadhyanta. Uh, both are possible. Anadhi, anta. This nanj need not go only with adhi. It can go with anta also. So, anadhi, ananta, dehadhi. That's what it will end up meaning. Dehadi Sanatana Ashrayi Suprasiddha. The Ashraya for continuous, Sanatana is continuous, continuous Deha etc. which are Anadi and Ananta also. Without a beginning or end, there is a continuous flow of Dehas. They keep on coming up. In, that's why the Jiva is born in various bodies. There is a continuous birth and death. That is well known. Suprasiddha. Tam avyayam. So avyaya here is in the sense of continuity. Form. See generally avyaya means navyeti te avyaya. Meaning the form does not change. But here what does not change? There is no change in dehas in the sense there is continuous, continuous flow of body. So there is no change in the flow. The flow is continuous. There, there is avyayatvam. Tam avyayam. That is avyaya. Tasyayav samsara rukshasya idam anyat visheshanam. And same samsara ruksha is explained with other words. Chandam siyasya paranani. In the shloka. Gita shloka. Chandam siyasya paranani. Chandas are Vedas. They are like leaves. 
Why Chandamsi Chadanat? They protect shelter, therefore, the Vedas are called as Chandas. What are those Rugeju Samalakshanani Chandamsi Rugeju and Samu Vedas? Yasya Samsara Rukshasya Paranani Yo Paranani. That is called as uh, that, that is explained as Chandamsi Yasya Paranani. Yasya Rukshasya Samsara Rukshasya Chandamsi Paranani Yo Paranani Bhavanti. Yatha Vrukshasya Parirakshanarthani Paranani. The leaves protect the tree. They, you know, they do the job of conversion of, you know, whatever uh, botanical changes happen. The leaves process everything and bring it to the Vruksha to protect the Vruksha. It lives with the leaves doing its task. Leaves doing their task. And Chandamsi are also like that. Tatha Vedaha. These are Chanda, Chandamsi, Vedas are also for the protector, protection of what? Samsara Vruksha Parirakshanartha. They protect the Samsara Vruksha. With Dharma Adharma, they help the Samsara Vruksha to continue. Protect in the sense they help the Samsara Vruksha to live. How? By continuation. By prodding you to act. Do this. If you want this, you do this. If you do not want this, avoid this. If you do not want Dukkha, you know, avoid this. And if you already done something which is giving you Dukkha, this is the Prashchita Karma for that. So it keeps on prodding you to continue in Samsara. Samsara Uksha Parirakshanartha Dharma Dharma Tadhetu Phaladarshanartha Tvat. Because Vedas are for what purpose? Dharma Adharma Tadhetu Phala Pradarshanartha Tvat. They show, they showcase the Dharma and Adharma. Then for Dharma and Adharma, what is the Hetu? Which Karma leads to Punya, which Karma leads to Papa? What is the Phala for each and every action is revealed by or is presented by Vedas. Therefore, they exist for that very reason. It's like a manual of, of samsara. It's a manual of how to live your life. Yatha vyakhyatam samsara ruksham samulam yaha tam veda. Samsara ruksham veda. Yaha tam samsara ruksham veda. Not just samsara ruksha as it appears. But samulam. Along with its mulam. This is sabahuri. Mulena saha. Mulena saha vartate iti samulam. Mulena saha vartate vruksha iti samulaha vruksha tam samulam vruksham veda. Yaha veda. Saha veda with. He is called as veda with. Who knows the samsara vruksha along with mula, which is Brahma. Yatha vyakhyatam samsara vruksham. As it is described, vedartha with ityartha. What is veda with? Not that he knows Veda. He knows Vedartha. That is the idea. So Veda here in the sense of Vedartha. Because if you say Ved, no Vedas. No. Narada Muni went to Sanat Kumara and said, I know so many things. I know Vedas, Puranas, Itihasa, Smriti, everything. Tantra, Mantra, Yantra. Unheard of things. He lists and after the long list is over, he says, still I have Shoka. But I have heard that Atma with Shokam Tarati Atma with one will cross over grief once one knows Atma. Atma Jnana I do not have, I have all other Jnana. So when he says I am a Veda with, but not Atma with, Sanat Kumara says you are not a Veda with. You know only, only names. You don't know Vedartha. You are not a Vedartha with. So Veda with is really Vedartha with. You do not know Vedas. What you know is just chanting them, you know Nama. Nama Rupatmaka Veda, you know. There's no Rupa per se, but you know Nama Atmaka Veda. You just know the Pada. You do not know Padartha. You know Shabda, Shabda Rashi. Veda is a Shabda Rashi. As Mundaka Upanishad says, Shabda Rashi. All that is Aparavidya. You know Aparavidya, you do not know Paravidya. Therefore, Veda with you aren't really. If you say you know Chaturveda, Chaturveda Pandita means what? It can mean one who has known all the four Vedas, studied, you know, 20 years for each Shaka actually. 
is it possible entire lifetime is not sufficient it wasn't sufficient for a rishi who was born again and again to complete the task but he couldn't complete and then one day chaturmukha brahma brahma went and showed him do you look at that mountain huge mountain and that you know that piece of stone after these many janmas of continuously learning it is not that he has forgot and rishi didn't forget what he learned in the earlier janma he took the janma with the sankalpa he took the janma he was completely committed to vedas he has made a sankalpa that i will study vedas completely sankalpa in the sense if, even if i have to take another janma i'll take another janma he took another janma continued yet another janma continued kept on doing it and then brahma said this is a vyartha sankalpa you will never reach the goal because even after as many janmas that you remember you kept on studying vedas but still you look at this uh, mountain and you pick any stone it is just a small stone i mean the amount the stone that you pick the size of the stone versus the huge mountain what is the comparison there that is the kind of jnana that you have veda you know only this much there is so much to learn which will never end so veda with even if you know chanting of all the four vedas as they exist today most of it is lost whatever bits and pieces exist today in some shakhas those even if you learn out of thousands of shakhas we have only few which can be numbered counted on your hand even if you knew that vedartha with one cannot be what is the vedartha you do not know unless you know samsara vruksha along with its root because vedas reveal the samsara along with its moola people who do not go to moola they know the samsara vruksha they remain in samsara they are not veda with as in vedartha with they aren't ityartha nahi samula samsara vruksha tasmat neha anya anumatropi avashishta asti ityatah sarvajnya sarva vedartha vidyati samula samsara vruksha jnanam stauti stauti if you know the samsara vruksha with its moola then sarva vedartha with not literally it is a you know the you know brahma tattva you don't become a sarva vedartha with literally it is artha you know the purpose of the entire vedas yes but you do not know each and every vedartha if someone comes to a jnani and says oh you are a jnani you are sarva sarva with veda with vedartha with explain the karma kanda sam mantra or upanishad mantra also you may not know there is a uh, there is historically something quoted you know somebody came to uh, shringeri acharya and asked some upanishad mantra he said i'll look up and tell you i don't remember uh, i'll have to look up can't just make a, a statement on something which is randomly asked that person was surprised shringeri acharya does not know he, he said i can't tell you everything just because i have gyan he didn't say that but then it is understood that atma jnani need not know everything literally so vedartha with it is it is stuti samula samsar ruksha jnanam stauti even in chandogya upanishad it is said ekena jnanena sarvam jnatam bhavati it is as well known not that with one jnana everything will be known if you know mrut then you know mrut karya also meaning you know every karya of mrut is mrut that is the jnana if you want to know if you are inquisitive no i want to know all products of clay one janma is not sufficient what all they make with clay we cannot know so it is not literal it is as though because the question inquisitiveness curiosity about the karya drops that is the idea there one the more you are inquisitive the more you want jnana laukika jnana it is never ending even saguna saguna upasana is never ending saguna you cannot know all gunas what vishishta advaitin say is anantam uh, ananta guna van that ishara has ananta kalyana gunas if you want to know sagunatvam you want to know all the gunas one's life is not sufficient many lives are not sufficient 
because it is ananta ananta lives you will have to take to really understand each and every guna that is why in 11th chapter also whatever bhagavan has shown his forms they are samplings then he has to end with a you know sometime it has to end so in the end he says you know, i have just given you a sample even uh, how should you in what all gunas should you be upasya arjuna asks and he says i'll give you a sample i can't tell you what all the list is endless even what i say is how how much ever i narrate it will never end vibhuti has no anta now other than vibhuti is also what exists vibhuti is themselves do not have an anta if you want to know every guna that will be that will definitely be impossible so it is not literal therefore nahi samulat samsaruksha tasmat neha anya anumatropi asti nothing else needs to be known neha is there it is which is worthy to be known which can be known which need be known should it be known at all do you need to know each and every detail of everything to become a jnani with actually become a jnani who will have moksha anya anumatra api avashishta asti na meaning na asti nasti ityata sarvajna there is nothing else which remains to be known that is the idea does not mean that one knows everything nothing remains to be known i don't need to know if you ask also if you give jnana also somebody says okay i'll give you you know some kind of phd in jnana i don't want it jnani does not want it uh, so that is neha anumatra api avashishta nasti nothing remains therefore sarvajna meaning sarva vedartha vid iti stauti sansar mula sansar ruksha jnanam stauti that kind of jnana is praised if you know this sansar ruksha with its mula then it is as good as knowing everything ekena jnani that is the idea ekena jnani na which is that jnana sansar ruksha jnana which is really mula jnana samsara vruksha you start analyzing you land in mula and you know that samsara vruksha there is nothing called as samsara vruksha other than its mula the mula is manifest there is a pratiti of samsara but there is no real samsara that jnana will free stauti anyway these uh, all these verses are very loaded uh, they are easy to chant per se Uh, if you have chanted it uh, then it is easy to chant but then the meanings are quite loaded hashya is loaded there who wants to take this will not be uh, I, i have one small question the anvaya is the first chapter first verse will remain yeah. the same okay so i said that rahu you have to pull out that's all okay okay अश्वत्थम आहु uh it if you had no it is vruksham so you it is all second case therefore uh samsara vruksham prahu so this will be all these are second cases okay they are mean they mean vruksha therefore they are all second cases adashakam ashvatam prahu prahu is a word avyayam एंड छंदांशी पर्णी यंदांशी पर्णी देन इट हेज बीन मेन्शन दट ये संसार वृक्ष से पर्णी यो पर्णी दिस इज फर्स्ट केस सॉरी कॉपी पेस्टेड यम संसार वृक्ष वेद तम वेद वेद इज लटलकार ऑप्शनल फॉर्म यूजिंग लिटलकार प्रत्यास स वेद विथ सश्वत्थम संसार शंप्राउ एंड देन कैन से यू कैन ऐड दिस हियर संसारम संसारम ऊर्ध्व मूलम 
Rahu, Samsara. So, so you know what is being talked about. Samsara Vruksham. Samsara Vruksham Urjavala Adashakam Ashwatam Prahu. And then you can say Yasya Yasya Paranani Chandamsi Yasya Paranani Paranani Yaha Kamvi We can say Chandamsi Paranani Bhavanti that kind of Sausar Ruksham Urdu Mulam Ada Shakam Ashwatam Prabhu and then Yahatam Veda Saveda Yaha what is the Anmaya there? Come in Samsar Ruksham. You have some Samsar Ruksham Veda, Saha Veda with. Okay, then who wants to take this? It's a Trishtup Chanda, it is not Anushtup Chanda. I can try. I'll try the second one. Okay. Uh, is there a verse? Is there? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Tasya eva samsa. Sorry, I have not muted. Yeah. Tasya eva samsa. We have eva, is it? Yeah, yeah. Tasya, I have eva. Okay. Okay. Tasya eva. Tasya eva. Samsa eva vrikshasya. Tasya eva samsa eva vrikshasya apara avayava kalpana uchchate. So, another apara. Another Kalpana is done. So actually, you have seen in uh, uh, Purana also, some other Kalpana was done. It need not be literally, you know, leaf should be only this. Why is it said something else? In, it is not in line with Gita. All this is just a Kalpana. Kalpana need not be literal. You cannot say that, oh, it has to be compared only with this. You can compare anything with anything. Parts can be compared with anything. What is being shown is that actually you should know that if they are uh, mentioned differently in different uh, places, then it is not literal. It is all figurative. Therefore, it uh, should not be taken as idam itham. Okay. So, etasya, tasya eva samsara rukshasya or etasya. That the very samsara rukshasya should be talked about. Another, apara avayava kalpana. Avayava naam kalpana. Imagination of what the, what the parts are. You know, it's like the, the blind man and the elephant. So you touch something, a part of elephant without looking at it, then you imagine some things. All imaginations are valid. For that blind person, all imaginations, for him, that is how it is. Unless everything is revealed, it will look like, you know, these parts will look like something else. Okay. Any other day, what is the shloka there? Yeah, Adas Chordvam Prasruta Tasya Shakha Guna Prabhridha Vishaya Pravalaha Adascha Mulanya Nusantatani Karma Nubandini Manusha Loke. So if you break it here, then Adaschordham Prasatasta Sishakha. You have to have a visarga there. It is yeah, a, yeah, so yeah, okay. Break it, you have to. Uh, so it is. Uh, otherwise, Adascha, it's okay. If you pause a little and don't add it, it is also fine. But then Adaschordham Prasatasta Sishakha. If you stop there. Okay. So the visarga will be there if you have a avasana. Okay. Adaha. So what is Sorry. the padachada? The padachada is Adaha Cha Urdvam Prasritaha Tasya Shakaha Guna Pravridaha. Then Vishaya Pravalaha Adaha Cha Mulani Anusantatani Karmanu Bandini. Manusha loke. Yeah. yeah. So the uh, verb is Anusantatani is one. That is the uh, Kriyapadam. Anusantatani. Yeah. Pratama. Bahuachana. Are you sure? Yeah. Is it Kriyapadam? Yeah. Anusantatani. Which mm. Kriya? Tiptas ji, Siptas to. Is it Anusanta Tanti? Is it Anti? No. No. It? No, it is. Uh, sorry, it is. Uh, ah, that is correct. Yeah. Prathama Vibhati is Bhavachana. Okay. So there is no. So we have to provide the word. 
Just give me a moment, please. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry. So no, we have to provide. Yeah, we have to provide. So Adaha will be uh, Karmanu Bandini is again the Prathma Yoga Vachana. Yeah. Shishadaha, Unapravajaha, Vishaya Pravalaha, Mulani, Mulani also. Mulani is the neuter. These are all. Yeah. Uh, Adaha is an Avyaya. Adaha is an Avyaya, okay. Urdhum. Prasrutaha. Urdhum is 2 1. Prasrutaha 1 3. Then we will be 2. Then Tasse. Shashi a question. And Manusha locates of Tami a question. Manusha locates of Tami a question. Manusha locates. Manusha locates in. In the Manusha Loka, so you start there. Saptami is a good okay. place to start. Manusha Loka, what is this? Okay, Manusha Loka. Tasya Vrikshasya Shakaha. Tasya Manusha Loka, Tasya Vrikshasya Shakaha. What are the Shakas? They are Adaha Cha Urdhvam Cha Prasruta. They are spread. Prasruta is they are spread. They, where are they spread? Adaha, they are all over. That is the idea. Everywhere Prasrutaha. they are spread. Adaha, Adaha is uh, Avyaya, but in the sense of Dvitiya. It is adverbial. Dvitiya. So, Dvitiya, Adhas and Urdhva. Urdhva both are in the sense of an adverb. Where are they spread? They are spread Prasrutaha. everywhere. Or uh, they spread. you can take as Karma also. So, Karma, they are spread. All you can see this term also as adverb also. Prasruta, Tasya Shaka, Samsar. Yes, yes, and what are no, those? Guna Pravada, Vishya Pravala. Yeah. What kind of Samasa, any idea? Anyone? What is the Pratya ending here? You have to look at the Pratya, it is a giveaway. Once you know what is the Pratya in Pravruddha, then you will know. Nishtha. Nishtha is there at the end. When you have Nishtha Pratya, Ta Pravruddha, Prakarshena Vruddha, Guna. How is it grown? Very well grown due to what reason? Guna. So when you have Ta in the end, generally you will see a Tritya Tatpursha. So Gunaihi Pravruddha. Gunaihi Pravruddha Shakha. Asya Samsara Rukshasya. Shakha. Uh, these are all Shakha. These are all, uh, uh, I said, uh, uh, not Pullinga. These should be Strilinga. All these are Strilinga. Because shakha is the uh, is the uh, noun there. Adjectives are guna pravurda. So shakhas are guna pravurda, all feminine words. Gunaihi pravurda shakha ha. Prasrutaha gunaihi pravurda vishay pravala ha. Vishay pravala ha. Pravala is um, vishay. Here also it will be tritiya. Vishay yeah, is. Pravala. Vishaya, Vishaya, not Vishaya, Vishaya R. Prasa is Bahuri. This will be Bahuri. Vishaya R. Pravurda is not uh, here. It will, Guna Pravurda is not a Bahuri. You cannot have Bahuri at Vidiktanta Prada Pada uh, as the Uttara Pada. And also Vishaya Pravala here. Pravala, uh, just trying to recall the word, look up the word there. Guna. Uh, uh, Vishay Pravala. Vishay Pravala. Pravala is uh, uh, what shoot. are you calling? They're shoots, you know. The shoots, shoots. Yeah, shoot. so shoots are Vishay. Objects are shoots for because shoot. you see uh, there are uh, uh, the Ashwatha uh, Vriksha is a little complicated. It is not like other Vrikshas. There are many components. You know, you see roots hanging uh, whether from the branches. You don't know whether what are those, whether they are uh, roots or I mean, unless you uh, have studied botany, you cannot have good names also. So, what are these? You know, you can. Uh, some people can hang on these, and uh, you know, just uh, for kids, it is very good to play around there. Should not be doing it because you know it's puja. That vruksha is puja also. We say so. Pravala, they, they has some shoots coming out, which are those compared to samsara vruksha. These are vishayas. Vishayas are like you know they uh, they 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 bind us. 
bind us they are like shoots there and they are also adascha moolani what are these moolas adascha moolani so what are these uh, these uh, shoots are also there and then there are secondary roots also secondary roots are called as moolani here because they are ada anusantatani anusantatani is anu is paschat following so anusantatani uh, here they are following this they are stretched they are stretched these moolani it is in samana dikana moolani adascha moolani anusantatani what are these moolas really in the vruksha they are moolas literally but then karmanu bandhini just like these are these these roots are uh, these stretched these secondary roots are stretched they they are following they keep on coming up roots do not come up after the vruksha but this ashwatha is quite a quite a vruksha you know it has it is different in a sense it has these secondary roots which keep on coming up those secondary roots which follow anusantatani they are like this karmanu bandhini karmanubandhini means karmani eva anubandha and karmanubandha esham santi bahuri because bandha is pullinga bandhini you see there the bandhini is because it has become neuter representing the mulani mulani is the anya pada there by anya pada pradana bahuri karmanubandhini is those karma are anubandhas anubandhas for which moola i mean which moola in the sense the moola eva moola again therefore they are they are called as karmanu bandhini moolani this karma secondary inputs which keep on coming up they are this moolani anusantatani anusantatani moolani karmanu bandhini bhavanti you can add that as bhavanti what is missing there vishay pravala adascha adascha moolani uh, pravala here manushya loke tasya shaka adascha urdham prasrutaha gunaihi pravrudaha vishay pravalaha shaka so we can say shift this here tasya shaka vishay prava uh, tasya vishay pravala okay that's also okay guna pravrudha तस्य गुण प्रवृद्धा विषय प्रवाला शाखा अदश्च ऊर्धम अदश्च ऊर्धम अदश्च अर्ध अद ऊर्धन च प्रसृता एंड देन यू कैन से तस्य तस्य मूलानी तस्य तस्य अनुसंतता मूलानी कर्मानुबंधीनी भवंती that is the anvaya de adaha is what manushyadibhyo yavat stavaram urdham cha yavat brahmana vishvasraja dhamah ityetad antam yatha karma yatha shutam jnana karma phalani jnana karma phalas are what jnana is upasana de jnana and karma phalas are what upasana and karma phalas are adaha and urdham cha manushyadibhyo yavat stavaram urdham manushyadibhya by manush uh, manushya anushyadibhya from humans beginning with so panchami beginning with manushya manushyadibhya yavat stavaram up till the plants immobile plants stavara stavara jangama vise so manushyadi and ending with this manushyadi adi padena you have the all the sentient Up till Brahma also, all can be included. Yavat stavaram urdham cha yavat. So up, yeah, manusya adi bho adi bho yavat stavaram urdham cha yavat. So that is a limitation done there. Yavit yavat Brahma na visras visvasraja dhama iti eta antam yatha karma yatha shrutam. As one has done the karma and in keeping in keeping with karma and in keeping with whatever has been heard through Vedas. smriti et shastra ityadi or laukika also someone talks about something oh you should go to this place oh i, I feel that oh if i had enough money and i had enough vacation i would take a trip so those places in uh, in vedas in dharmika this thing uh, set up it is all what the veda talks about anya loka oh i want to go that loka it would be very nice you know it's like a vacation 
all these are jnana karma phalani they are all jnana karma phalani vishwasrja dhama so their vishwasrja dhama is dhama of vishwasraj vishwasraj is uh, vishwasrajas vishwasrajas is prajapati brahma that is Brahm, brahmana 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 vishwasrja dhama this is chaturmukha brahma or you can take hiranyagarbha also there brahma has but here specifically it has been mentioned brahma loka basically the idea is brahma loka iti etadantam is all jnana karma phalani tasya vrikshasya shakha iva shakha prasruta pragata so what are these adascha urdham mula all these are all these including the all results the lokas are results lokas need not be uh, specific planets or you know these worlds they can be anubhavas experiences so lokyante iti lokaha that is possible karma phalani that therefore karma phala which are there is an anubha i'll just take a couple of minutes and finish this off tasya vrikshasya shakha eva shakha prasruta prasruta means pragata they are well spread and guna pravrta means gunaihi pravrta that is a tritya tat purusha there and which guna sattva rajas tamas guna so sattva rajas tamo bhi pravrta pravrta means what grown in the sense they are stooly krita they are fattened up literally fattened up by gunas you focus on the gunas you cultivate gunas tamo guna is there you cultivate rajas to come out of that but don't get stuck in that if we get stuck in that then kshatriya janma if you take sattva and come out of rajas also you purify the actions and then remain in sattva then satvika janma but then still janma will continue we have to transgress this three gunas nistrai guno nistrai guna bhava arjuna says krishna to arjuna nistrai guna go go beyond the gunas don't get stuck in guna use the gunas but then using the gunas you transgress the gunas upadana bhutaihi stuli krita these are all upadana de through this upadana bhutaihi gunaihi uh, stuli krita therefore pravuddha vishe pravalah vishe pravala means vishayah pravalah yasya uh, it's not given here okay we'll see that vishayah shabdade vishayas are what shabdade shabda sparsha rupa rasa ganda dar vishayas objects means what we objectify an object really the gunas shabda guna ityadi not this sattva rajas tama gunas but shabda adi gunas are vishayas really pravalah iva pravalah deha adi karma phalebhya shakha bhya ankuri bhavanti iva tena vishay pravalah shakha uh, Okay, so this is, uh, I'll have to go back and correct. Pravala, the pravala meaning is shoots. So, pravala, pravala, tena vishe pravala shakha. He has not mentioned that, but it is bahuri. Like, tena vishe pravala, tena karane, it should be. So, vishe pravala, tena karane. Therefore, it is not, uh, it is a bahuri. Uh, Yasya has not been mentioned by Bhagavan Bhashikara. Iva dehadi karma phale bhya shakha bhya ankuri bhavanti. Iva, like the ankuras like this sprout from the shakhas this sprout. where have you seen uh, from shakha something sprouts in ashwatha you see that and what are those deha the karma phalebhya why do these objects come about in one's experience because one has done the karmas and they are possible only when deha itya, deha is there stula deha is there as an adhikarana and sukshma deha is there as a sadhana then only dehadi will help one to do karma and thereby one will do karma and karma phala will be the resultant tebhya shakhabhya ankuri bhavanti from those the uh, this pravalas shoots come off and those vishayas are pravala therefore vishay pravala shakha shakhas are those which have shoots Samsara Rukshasya Paramamulam Upadana Karanam Puro Muktam. This has been already mentioned as Brahma is the Karana for Samsara Ruksha. Atha Idanim Karma Phala Janita Ragat Vesha Divasanaha Mulani Iva Mulani Bhavanti. Dharma Dharma Pravrti Karanani. These Mulas roots from which something will, else will come up. Therefore, those are what Karma Phala Janita Ragat Vesha Divasanaha. 
these vasanas which are manifest as ragadvesha in the antakarana which are in turn where if you search where are these ragadvesha coming from from vasanas how was vasana generated vasanas are gen janita generated by karma phala karma phala the karma karma phala janita ragadvesha adi vasana these vasanas are really second phala of karma one is phala which is waiting to fructify another is what makes an impression leaves one wanting it more makes one an addict to a particular karma i want that result i want that result i want to do this karma last time it was enjoyable i want to do that last time it wasn't good i have dvesha so all these vasanas will fructify as ragadvesha and the antakarana they become the mula as the mula dharma dharma pravrutti karanani and they these vasanas will prod the person to do dharma avoid adharma or even do adharma if the result of adharma was immediately satisfying pravrutti karanani bhavanti avantara bhavini tani adascha avantara bhavini these are avantara bhavi avantara bhavi means secondary they are secondary tani secondary in the sense in the, the shoots are here what was said the uh, mulani these are secondary so secondary mulani are avantara bhavini mulani they are secondary roots in the vriksha tani adascha devadya peksha compared to devas they are in these exemplified compared to devas they are downwards you know in, in, inferior mulani anusantatani anupravishtani anusantatani anupravishtani we have seen the it is continuing karmanubandhini karmanubandhini means karma dharma dharma lakshana are karma characterized as dharma uh, as dharma dharmika karma or adharmika karma therefore dharma dharma lakshanam karma anubandha anubandha means paschad bhavi anu tells you paschad bandha tells you badnati they bind bind means they will be there unfeeling result there will be a result if you do a karma then there will be a definite result unless that karma is burned by jnana unless they are bhasmikrata there will be there will be bhavana of the phala therefore paschad bhavi is anubandha they will bind yesham udbhutim anu udbhavati they will come up later sometime later they'll come up come up the karma phala will come up therefore karma anubandhini tani karma anubandhini where manushya loke visheshata not only in manushya loka the result can be in other lokas also visheshata manushya loke because this is karma bhumi we have to talk about manushya loka as primary where we can earn karma devas devas don't have the choice to earn karma not much some may be there but then there is not really they cannot earn much punya because the mostly it is a result of punya if devatas had a possibility of earning punya they will continue to earn punya and they'll never be another birth that is why devatas cannot earn more punya papa may be possible but then it is debatable there again uh, in in a sense it is debatable in a sense dukha is there so they'll uh, do karma for something but primarily manushya loke only this karma bhumi vishesh atra hi manushyanam karma adhikara prasiddha because atra hi prasiddha it is well known that karma adhikara is only for manushya and atra means in manushya loka uh, even if a manushya travels to another uh, uh, loka not really possible in this body but then suddenly if, if at all with siddhi one goes one is not earning karma there one is earning karma here itself therefore it is prasiddha and thereby uh, manushya loke visheshata he is explaining why manushya loke visheshata that vishesha is prasiddhi of karma adhikara being only in this karma bhumi in manushya loka नारायण परो व्यक्ता दंडम अव्यक्त संभव नमस्कार